this is the airport. I was not prepared for this. <laughs> oh my god. Hey guys, so I'm in uh, Riparalta right now, which is a very northern area in the Bolivian Amazon. Uh, not too far, like a few hours away from like Brazil. And the reason why I came here is um, because my guidebook told, said that like people don't come here. They said this is like a boom town, like lots of activity, lots of people, but no tourism and no like real tourist sites. And I thought that would be like a perfect place just to kind of like get away from it all and find fruit. And uh, find fruit I did. I found several things that uh, I've been looking for, a few things I've never even heard of before. When I saw this uh, at a glance, I thought it was actually an egg fruit. Like, because it kind of looks like one because of the stem on it. It looks a little bit like a little squat canistel. But if you look at it, it's, um, it's not. This is... A Garcinia fruit. Uh, Bolivia is known for its Garcinias. Like they really love them here. The uh, Achacharu or Achacha, which um, uh, I've reviewed in the past. That's actually from here, uh, I believe, or at least it's like really, really popular here. So you, I've seen that a few times for sale. Um, they even have like a, an Achacharu festival here. Uh, this was sold to me as an Atatru. I asked what it was, and that's what she said it was, and it's not. I'm not sure exactly what this is, which is kind of exciting, kind of annoying, because uh, I'm not sure what to say uh, this is. If you have an idea, let me know. I posted this up on like a Facebook group with uh, other fruit freaks like myself, and um, the biggest answer that came up was uh, Garcinia Intermedia, and it does look like that. It looks like that a lot. So I think that is what this is. Garcinia Intermedia also has the English name Lemon Drop Mangosteen, which is interesting because in the past I reviewed another Lemon Drop Mangosteen, but it did not look like this. There's a small little guy that I had in Malaysia. So maybe I got that name wrong. That's what they told me that was. But <laughs> anyway, I babbled enough. I'm just like really excited about this thing. So let's uh, cut this guy open. I'd like to point out, by the way, I bought this really cool knife. It's like metal, it's got like little grips on it. This is like a killing people kind of knife. Um, but naturally, I'm just gonna open fruit like a badass instead. All right, there you go. This looks very similar to uh, the purple mangosteen on the inside. It doesn't separate quite as much, but it's got like a similar uh, white color on the inside. It looks a little bit like yellow mangosteen, but uh, yellow mangosteen has a yellow flesh, so this is not that. There you go. And uh, if it helps identify it to any of you guys out there, it does separate into some wedges here. Uh, and there's four little wedges. They separate a little harder than uh, purple mangosteen, but uh, they look very similar to the inside of a purple mangosteen. All right, let's give it a shot. Mmm, that is really good. You know, I've had so many Garcinias, it's hard for me to keep track of like which one's the best, because they're all very unique. This one is good in its own right, because it tastes a lot like purple mangosteen. It's, that, it's got that kind of like sweetness. Um, here's one of the seeds, by the way. They're quite large. Whoa! Mm. What's nice about these, they, they have like a nice strong flavor. It tastes like purple mangosteen. Which purple mangosteen, I, it's really hard to describe it. They're very good. And the best way I can say it tastes like is like, maybe a little bit like grape. But if grapes were like the most delicious grape flavor that has ever existed. Kind of like that. It's not really like grape, but it's like it's got some sort of like similar taste buds that get fired when you eat it. This one also has a nice sourness to it, which is what is different than a purple mangosteen. Purple mangosteens are like just little 
bits of sugar. Um, this has that taste, very, very similar to that taste, with a little bit of sourness poured in there. So it's kind of like um, if we were to take purple mango steam and like the atatru and mix them together. Or if you haven't had either of those, it's like if you took the purple mango steam, that kind of like amazing, intense, like sort of like grape, but really much, much, much better than grape kind of flavor, and mixed it with like a little bit of like, I don't know, a little, little citrus taste, a little lemon juice or something, but better. Now, I don't know if I would say that this one is my favorite Garcinia of all time, but I would put this, I would tie this with the Aja Charu. This is incredibly good. Um, I will tell you that you know, if you have the means to have this, go have it. Go out to the Bolivian uh, Amazon and go looking around for this because it's worth it. <laughs> or if you can't, then I hope watching me eat it has been enjoyable for you. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye. Okay, I only have one minute, so I have to make this fast. Guys, uh, click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Click that bell. I don't know what the bell does, but it probably gives an angel its wings, so click on it. That dislike button, don't click that one. Uh, go to the comments, leave a comment if you have something to say. Go to this description, because in the description there is a link to my Patreon page where you can help contribute to my channel and make it grow. There's also a link to my website where you can see a backlog of videos, more information, and also uh, you can buy a t-shirt at my website now. Uh, I want to give a special shout out to the channel Smarter Every Day, because Smarter Every Day is a mega contributor on Patreon. They're really helping me out. If you like what I'm doing with Fruit, check out his channel because it basically covers everything involving science. It's really interesting. Also around there, there should be, there should be a couple of videos right here. These are the videos to my next week's episode, if it's up, and last week's episode, where you can check that out. I still have three seconds, guys, so thank you so much. Bye-bye.